retired journalist, and I'm an SEO by day now. I just started doing it about three months ago. Um, but I still work in WordPress, personally and professionally. Um, and I saw that this product called Newspack was coming out. Um, so I researched it as best I could. Wanted to kind of make you aware of it. I kind of fall right in the middle of the spectrum of expert and beginner and people in this room. So um, if you have questions, this is kind of like a brain dump for me. So I probably won't know a lot of answers, but we'll give it a shot. So this is Newspack. Um, so what it is, is a toolkit that's going to be built, it's currently in development, for um, small and mid-sized publishers. So we're not talking like CNN and DC, Times. we're talking more like maybe Sacramento B scale, but um, this would be something more perfect for like the news and review or like a smaller community, um, maybe alt, um, alt news site. Um, in the wake of the scorched earth that is the uh, media industry right now, a lot of experimental business models and news startups, um, particularly on the local level, have been sprouting up. Um, and Newspack is something that um, is trying to uh, give these publications a base. Um, WordPress VIP is kind of what a lot of big publications now use, um, a lot being uh, some examples that worked out BBC America, New Yorker, Quartz, TechCrunch, 538, Time Inc. A lot of household name publications are built on WordPress VIP. Um, this is kind of the other end of the spectrum um, as far as scale. This is really for a smaller uh, user and smaller operation. Um, it's not something that's going to compete with, uh, with VIP or Washington Post's ARC or Vox's Chorus. And um, those two products, ARC and Chorus, those are proprietary in house built CMSs for those publications, several other big publications have their own as well. Um, this is not who they're going after. This is more for a small operation. Um, like I said, for a small newsroom, so who is behind this? Um, the Google News Initiative is a, a project by Google that um, builds all kinds of tools. They use like Google Trends, um, Fusion Tables, all the Google toys that um, they teach newsrooms how to use uh, to basically endear them and indoctrinate them into the, the Google wheelhouse. Um, so Google's got a stake in this. Um, they're pointing up a lot of money along with the Knight Foundation and the News Revenue Book, who is a partner with a group called Civil Media. And I know I'm kind of getting into the weeds here. But Civil Media is a um, startup that's trying to figure out how to use Bitcoin technology to fund uh, publications. I don't know how that sausage is really made, so I won't go into it. But um, they are involved with this as well. You could so, listen to the ZigZag podcast and learn more. There you go. I've never heard that, but there you go. Um, this is really for the journalist, the reporter, uh, who doesn't want to screw around with the CMS and get bogged down in, um, in working with their content. They want to be able to publish quickly um, with a streamlined suite of tools. So I have a, a classmate, classmate slash colleague, um, Perry Meshford, who works at Automatic. Um, she works at WordPress VIP. I emailed her and I was like, what can you tell me about Newspack that's not out there yet? And, um, not a ton, but she she basically told me that you know there's, there's like 54,000 plugins for WordPress or something. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, there's going to be kind of a curated suite of publishing focused plugins for for Newspack, so publishers and journalists don't have to like worry about like which which plugin do I need for my site? Like there's so many, um, and it's going to be a lot of familiar household name tools um, in this space already, um, including Jetpack, all the Google tools. Um, I don't know if Yoast is going to be a part of it. I assume it will, but there might be some more uh, major league SEO tools as well. Um, the other side of this, and no one really knows what this is going to look like yet, is there's going to be a real-time sort of way to figure out how to um, monetize the publications. So going to be advertising suites, probably AdWords, probably um, things to track conversion rates and subscribers and all that kind of stuff. Um, something that is, is kind of hearsay, things that I've read and things that I've heard, I don't know if this is true. Part of the reason that one potential reason Gutenberg was so aggressively pushed out at the end of last year instead of later on, it was supposed to be, was because um, WordPress wanted uh, a modern streamlined CMS for news I don't know if that's true or not, take it or leave it. Um, but it's cool because Gutenberg will be kind of one of the first um, branded testing grounds for WordPress. Um, I bet a year from now, down the road, we're going to see a lot of best practices, a lot of uh, trial and error, a lot of learning experiences grafted off of that and onto the greater Gutenberg that you and I will eventually know. Um, so 
I'm, and obviously the classic editor is always going to be an option, but um, the folks at WordPress hope that publishers stick with, um, with Gutenberg. Um, so I asked about the back end for, for, for you developers and remind not developers, so um, it's not a lot of here for you, sorry. Um, nothing special, it's going to be all open source. Um, you can post your uh, suggestions and fixes and stuff in GitHub, um, kind of the same way you might interact with it now. Um, no hard, concrete date when use pack will uh, come out, but they're saying July. Uh, they want um, there's just like a couple dozen publications that are like the trial publications for use pack as it's being developed to kind of incubate it, and they're targeting July. Um, they want to have 60 by 2020. Uh, right now, these publications are incubating it or using it for free, um, but after that, from what I read from uh, WordPress, and you can all look this up too. It's going to be a couple grand um, a month after that. Um, those of you who might be, you know, new to WordPress, this isn't really something that you know you should walk away to and be like, oh shit, like is that something I have to worry about? Like do I have to use this? Probably not, unless you're in journalism or media or, or something within that last radius. But um, what I kind of wanted to the takeaway to be is, news pack is something you might want to pay attention to for the sake of best practices coming out of before the bird. There's going to be a lot of uh, changes to the bird and thought pieces written online and things you can use as a resource as you guys all navigate your Gutenberg experience. And that's it. Um, again, I'm Nick Wright, I live in Curtis Park. I'm on Twitter, you can look at my WordPress website, and um, if you have any questions, I probably can't answer a ton of them, but feel free to email me for the sake of the next speaker. Uh, you guys can shoot me. So that's it.